Hey guys, uh, Zap Productions here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial um, in this video. And it's going to be uh, how I make the thumbnails for my videos. So I was thinking about making this video a two-part video because there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to be covering. And, uh, you know, I'm going to separate it by like how I make, how I get the pictures and I put the, the logo or whatever on it. And then the other part is how I make the logo and, you know, in-depth stuff. But hopefully I'm going to just do the basics right now. So usually what I would do is I go to I, I stop motion. And that's where I take the pictures uh, for my stop motions. And so I'm going to get an old one. So I'm going to open a recent one. I'm just going to do Hawkeye, the Hawkeye one that I was working on. So what I would do is that... I would find a frame down here. You see how I'm scrolling down here? All these are decent frames. So for this, I'm gonna for this one I'm just gonna use the last one. So what I do is that I right click this picture, this frame, and I go down here to export as images and I just let's say I'll put it on my desktop and I'll choose and it'll export the frame onto the desk desktop. So I'll delete the iStop motion and now I have the uh, Hawkeye picture on my desktop and so what I do is that I drag this and I put it right over Adobe Photoshop and I use Adobe Photoshop for the editing and stuff So we just wait for it to open up. It'll open up. So there we have uh, the Hawkeye picture. And so what we're going to do is that, first of all, we're going to fit. I, I like to fix up this picture a little bit. So what I do, especially with pictures close up like this, I go down here. I go to this little tool right here. This one. And what I do is that I click it and it's, there's a blur tool, a sharpen tool, and a smudge tool. What I do is I press the sharpen tool and I kind of click or drag, you know, to make like the features that are closer to make it less blurry and stuff. Sharpen it. I don't do it too much because if you do it too much, then it may look like really pixely. So let's fix that up a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, so basically that's what I do sometimes I can do uh, some color correcting. If I if you go up here, um, click this, go to photography, and then you know, there's adjustments right here and there's all these sorts of stuff that I could do like color correcting for to make you know it look a little better and stuff. So hue saturation, I could change the hue to all sorts of crazy colors. But I'm going to keep it at zero because that's weird. And then I could change the saturation and stuff and the lightness. And so there's a lot of different stuff you could do here. I, I use them all the time. And yeah. So after that, after I fix up the picture a little bit, make it nice... I go to file and I open and I go to my pictures and I have a bunch of pictures here there are a lot of logos and stuff for the series and stuff so I made a Hawkeye one and I want to get that one and bring it in so I could use it um, let me find that okay Hawkeye Hawkeye logo so now that it's come in you, you I'm gonna go to the select tool right here and you can see that they're right here on top together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and kind of drag it out to another window and then move this window a little bit and then uh, after that I'm gonna click this I'm gonna drag it onto this there so I just I can delete this one and now I have this I have two layers the Hawkeye picture layer and this layer so 
After that, I sometimes I, I scale it however I like. So what you could do is that you go here at the corner, make sure that you're on. So, cancel, cancel. Make sure that you're on the select, and you go right here and you click it, and you could drag it how you like. If you want, if you want it to stay proportional though, for those of you using Photoshop, um, if you want it to stay like proportional you see how it's kind of stretching this way and stretching this way um, you hold shift now this is for Mac I don't know really for Windows but for Mac if you hold shift uh, and drag it 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 should stay like in proportion uh, for Windows this should work I don't really know okay so you hold in let me cancel that I messed up so click this hold into proportion and then you let go of the click so that if you accidentally move it out of the way so it doesn't mess up again so once I get to a decent uh, size I like actually let me make that a little smaller once I do that I can put it anywhere I like into the picture um, let's put it right come to think of it there's not the best picture for this. I don't like I don't like it when it covers its face. So let's just save it for now, see what it looks like. So let's see. It's okay. It's not very it's not very good. Um can move it maybe down there. It'll look better. Yeah, I I didn't really choose the best picture at all. So, but it's just for tutorial purposes. <laughs> so, uh, let's just keep it there for now. And once I do it how I like, like I, how I put it how I like, I go over here and I go, where do I go? Okay, I go to save as and then I can put it whatever name I call it, like Hawkeye. Staring, okay, and then I just go to Photoshop, and then I could go down to. I like, you have to make sure that when you're doing this, you press the Photoshop, and then you go down and you find a file that you like to use, because if if you just press save with this on, it's just gonna, it's gonna make it a Photoshop file so that you can edit it. You can't really use it for anything, just editing in Photoshop. So what you got to do is I, I like to use the P, the you see there's JPEG and stuff I use the PNG mostly I save okay and it's it's done now if you go I'm gonna go to my finder and go to pictures where I save I think I saved on pictures oh man where did I put it Okay, here we go. I put it on the desktop. Haha. <laughs> so, yeah, once I do that, there you have it. That's a picture that I can use for a thumbnail and stuff. And then after that, I, you know, I put it on YouTube and I, I, like when I'm uploading the video, I do, uh, you know, the thumbnail, like custom thumbnail, and I put it in. And then after that, you know, looks pretty, looks pretty decent. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, sorry for it being kind of long. Uh, next time, I think I'm going to make a part two of uh, how I make the logos like... How I make logos like this. Or, you know, like the Kingdoms logo. This is actually pretty easy, but... Stuff like... One of the hardest logos that I made was... Where is it? The Adventure Hogs was pretty fun. The one of the hardest ones I made though was uh, into the front one. So yeah, uh, next next time uh, I'm gonna make a part two, and it's gonna be a tutorial to how to make the logos so that you can add them into you know the pictures and the thumbnails. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, see you guys later. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you like, uh, comment, and subscribe, and see you around. Peace.